is going on, people? What's going on, you see you family members? How's it going? Yeah. <laughs> what is going on with JJ Aiden joining the DC and also having a contract with Marvel, with him and his son, to do a mini series comic book comic book run of Spider Man? Now, I don't know what it may be going on. Now, I'm guessing that he. Um, it's a few things I'm guessing. I'm not sure which one is right or all of them could be wrong. But y'all just leave in the comment what y'all think, what is going on, or do y'all agree what I'm saying or don't. You know, so basically what I'm saying is why is all a sudden that he's trying to actually join Marvel in DC after all these many years? Now, I think that one of the things they probably reason why I keep saying one of the things I'm constantly thinking what I'm trying to say to you, and the reason why I keep saying one of why they are simply because of Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg and J.J. Abrams are really, really good friends. Really, really good friends. I know this because I used to work for Steven Spielberg. Um, I used to work at his office, and I know that J.J. Abrams and Steven Spielberg is a really good friend because I actually met J.J. Abrams and Steven Spielberg. But, um, and Steven Spielberg already made it, made it clearly known that he think Marvel films, DC films, anything to do with comics, films, superhero films is trash. is killing the superheroes. Uh, basically killing the movie industry. I mean to say killing the Hollywood. Basically killing the Hollywood um, movie industry. I mean, even um, what is his name? Um, Quentin Tarantino have a problem with it, but you know, I mean, okay. So um, what I'm saying is, what kind? Of, I mean, was their friendship is not together anymore? <laughs> I don't know. Or is it possible that they could actually be? He be he could be J J Abrams already going in there. He already made it. He been in there successfully, Marvel and DC. So I'm guessing Steven Spielberg will be bringing his, but later, because Steven Spielberg is an awesome director. He is an icon of Hollywood as a director. He actually did literally change cinema as we see it today. Not as far as that Marvel films, but other films. Not as far as DC film, but other films. But and you have to think about it. He is one of the iconic legends of Hollywood. So. In a sense of a way, he did play a little bit of part to how people um, do their movies, how they do what they do, because he did pay, pave a way for a lot of people to actually get the opportunity to be a director, right? So um, I'm guessing that um, that sooner or later Steven Spielberg gonna be coming in there, and I hope that they're not trying anything like this. Both of them come in there. And they make Marvel films. They get assigned to Marvel films, uh, DC films, and they make sucky films and sucky Marvel films, sucky TV. I mean, sucky Marvel films and sucky DC films. You know what I'm trying to say? But um, that's what I'm talking about. Um, so I don't know what y'all might think about that. Just you know, let me know. And I hope they don't do that because it. I mean, think about it. Steven Spielberg is the master, like one of the most legendary, iconic directors of Aliens. Down, hands down. Boom, hands down. No one could top him. He makes some of the best, best Alien movie. Now, if he wouldn't have been tripping over Marvel a long time ago, you know, he probably would have been, he probably would have directed Captain Marvel. Which... We didn't need him to direct Captain Marvel because the directors that actually did it and the writers, they made it awesome. And I give you thumbs up on that, guys. Y'all did a great job, and I can't wait till y'all do the second one, you know. But I, what I'm getting at but it's like now we're going into Marvel. We're going into um, Cosmic. We're going into the Cosmic Universe, and we're talking about, like, we're bringing in, like, Galactus, um, 
Fantastic Four. We already bring Thanos. We already bring Guardians of the Galaxy to the world. You know what I'm saying? So we don't bring that from the comic and put it on the bigger screen. Reason why I keep saying we, just in case a lot of people saying, why is he saying we? Because we all the part of Marvel. We all the part of DC. We are fans. This is what we love to do, and that's what we do. So yeah. That's why I keep saying we. I'm talking about you too out there. When I say we, I'm talking about you. I'm not talking about me. I'm not crazy to that level yet. <laughs> but I'm talking about you too. But um, but um, yeah. So that's what I'm thinking because if he would have actually been have good heads on his shoulders, far as that's far as like joining with Marvel, we got about to go into Secret Evasion, probably Secret Wars, the Creed. That he'd have been a mastermind with that. You know what Steven Spielberg could have did if he had a movie uh, talking about the aliens and he bring them on the big screen? I mean, look what all he did and did before. He's the master of science fiction movies. Now, think about this. J.J. Abrams, he joining the uh, Marvel, so eventually, I don't care what about eventually he would be joining the MCU. He just, right now, for my understanding, he joined the Marvel side or the comic book side to write some comics with his kid. They want to write a five-book miniseries. A Spider-Man, which I think it probably be pretty good, hopefully. Mm. But I'm guessing he'll get ready to try to direct a movie in the MCU, right? Now check this out. Everybody know that J.J. Um, Abrams he's he's pretty mastermindful with the um, the tech technological movies and the Alien mix. He's really great with that. Now if he want if he was actually was actually just say I want to be in the movie. Look what happened with Black Panther. Black Panther is like a lot. Um, it's not like an alien. There's no aliens on Black Panther, but it's actually the technological part actually got something to do with aliens because the vibranium came from space. We really don't know where the vibranium came from. That could have been a destroyed planet for my for my knowledge. Go if anyone know where the vibranium came from, please let me know below. But to my knowledge, no one know where the vibranium came from. That could have been came from a planet, a alien planet. That could have been um, blown up. It could have been a piece of a planet, and that planet could vibranium could have been a whole entire planet with a lot of a whole bunch of people living on there, and it could have been some kind of like vibranium people. I don't know. I don't know where it's come from. I'm just saying. I mean that if you know with J.J. Abrams, you know that's kind of like fit into his world of his expertise. In his movies, aliens and techno te technology, you know, more like Steven Spielberg, he's more into more like the straight aliens thing. I mean, you have te 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 technology in it, but it's more like alien focuses. For my understanding with the movies, and J.J. Abrams more like technological aliens. You know what I'm saying? And Captain Marvel, she was about aliens going out. She was became a hybrid of an alien, but not from alien technology and I guess from the blood transfu transfusion from uh, Captain um, I can't remember the name but Drew Law played uh, the character he played you know he had his blood transfusion so she became a hybrid so she was human and hybrid come on that's right up Steven Spielberg alley right right up it's right up so I'm guessing when J.J. Abrams did what he did I'm guessing I'm expecting to actually see Steven Spielberg to come later and then when he actually come later, that's when a lot of other directors don't want to go in and direct um, direct the films. And, I, and the reason why, also, I think they want to try to go in there and actually bring it in. Because the Marvel movies is actually pushing them out. It's pushing their movies out. Nobody's not really... You can't... Now, how everything is flowing, you cannot bring a Marvel... Any movie against a Marvel movie and they're going to be successful. No, it's not going to be successful. Why do you think... They strategize and release different movies on different things, on different dates. Because when Endgame came out, if they'd have released John Wick 3 at the same time Endgame came out, John Wick would nowhere near would have been uh, be successful. Talking about 3. It would have never been successful the way it was because it knocked Endgame off the first spot when it came out. You know, So a lot of people have to actually nowadays actually have to base their movies on the Marvel movies when they don't do the release date and DC movies too they, be, they have to plan for because people is flocking to the movies to actually see these nice beautiful characters on big screen I mean people childhood characters going to big screen you know what I'm saying so yeah 
So it's pretty sweet that he's joining, but I hope he's not joining for the wrong reason. Try to like take down um, DC by making a, a crazy, stupid movie, and everybody say, "Oh, that sucks." And, you know, uh, he take the comics and instead of being loosely based, he just be loosely with it and just throw the comic out and make his own version. Usually, when that happens, it don't ever go over well. So I'm hoping that everything's working out fine. I hope it that what I think I'm a little worried that they're gonna go he gonna go in there and make it something terrible but simply because him and Steve Steven Spielberg is really good friends and Steven Spielberg don't like superhero films so I don't know if they collaborated together. I'm not saying that's really happened but it's all a theory, it's all guessing so that is just my thought. You just leave it down below and let me know what your thought and I'm about to get up all out of here. That's what all I had to say. So um yeah also please subscribe please leave a um, comment hit a notification button and please share this video please hit that like up and also peace see you next time